So first exercise we have here is the trap bar deadlift. So this is mainly targeted for both hamstrings and glutes. <clears throat> now the tempo here is pretty standard, pretty explosive I would say. The reason I'm keeping it pretty explosive is just to get a different stimulus through, you know, the two muscle groups. So uh, basically they could grow and get stronger over time. So, and in order to get stronger, you need to progressively overload. Don't mind my friend in the back, he's just messing around. But anyways, so we did four sets of eight and these were pretty tough. I think this was 315 or 325. I don't know how much the trap bar weighs, but I think it's a little bit heavier than a regular bar. So, got eight reps of that, or seven or eight reps. Uh, stuck with the same weight. Now, although the form looks a little off, it's just the explosiveness of the rep is just a little deceiving that's why it looks the, the form looks a little off pretty much but um, you'll definitely feel this in your glutes and your hamstrings without a doubt because of actually just doing it with the explosive tempo you'll feel it a lot more so definitely recommend this exercise uh, I might keep it even in my next split because I'm really enjoying it but yeah by this time I was just tired I couldn't even I couldn't even do that weight so we lowered it down to two plates repped it out for another five or six reps quick fast reps and yeah I mean you definitely you guys will get good results if you do this for sure so next up we have the uh, leg press uh, hamstring focused leg press so did eight to ten reps here with a three second negative and the reason I I've mentioned this before but for those who have not heard I like to do long negatives because you know I don't want to overload my knees with too much weight overloading your knees will with too much weight that's counterproductive to longevity pretty much so the goal is to stay in the game as much as possible so you know lowering the tempo uh, definitely is a safer option so that you actually make the weight the lower weight more challenging without having to actually up the weight by that much so definitely trying to maintain a three second negative here it's really hard when you're in the middle of the reps it's just you barely have any oxygen to think and yeah but you just have to try your best with it it doesn't have to be spot on but roughly around three seconds if assuming you're doing that tempo so we lowered we took a plate off on each side and repped it out uh, still maintain the eight reps um, didn't really change much here um, I the reason I do hamstrings and glutes on a different day what well, excuse me I do hamstrings and glutes on a different day from quads is because doing one leg workout is just so taxing on your central nervous system and it it's tough especially if you want to prioritize a certain muscle group it you know how many exercises are you going to do exactly so splitting it up in the two days definitely has helped with leg development so next up we have the hamstring curl um, I believe we did a two or three second negative here. Um, the whole workout will be, will be in, in the description, so you guys feel free to look at that. But, uh, yeah, the goal is just to make the workout as challenging as possible so that we could, um, you know, progressively get bigger and stronger over time. Um... So I didn't use much weight here because by the time I got to the third exercise, my hamstrings are pretty, you know, uh, pre-exhausted. So uh, if I started off with this, I probably would have went heavier. But yeah, just maintain the good tempo, two to three second negative, 
and then the concentric I just uh, basically was explosive so yeah definitely tried to maintain that tempo and just really trying to think about it as I'm doing it um, definitely it's tough it's tough with the lack of oxygen and the fact that your legs are one of your biggest muscle groups in your body so they do require a lot of oxygen and they require a lot of blood you know there's a lot of blood flow going on in those areas so definitely your focus is just getting drifted away so you really need to just have your head screwed in and just think about it but yeah definitely this exercise was tough um, and the form was could have been better I probably would have kept my legs a little bit closer that's one thing so next up we have is uh, the next exercise we have is the Bulgarian split squat on a so I have a bench supporting my back foot so that I could, I could just focus on one leg um, so I don't over engage any other kind of muscles so we did we first did it with the 70 pound dumbbells for two sets and then the last two sets we did it just body weight because I couldn't do I couldn't maintain good form and couldn't maintain the tempo so yeah here we just had a standard tempo nothing too crazy and yeah that's it guys um I hope you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe and tell me what you want to see because I know the workout stuff can get pretty old pretty quick so any kind of challenges you guys want me to do um, feel free to just drop it in the comments and I will be more than happy to do it for sure so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you guys learned a thing or two and I'll see you guys in the next one peace